A very warm welcome to the learning home. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to make rectangles, polygons, cloud, oval shape and connector lines using drawing tools in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. And all the features what we are talking about is here. And when you press it, you will see the rectangle, oval, polygon, cloud, connected lines. So we will start with the rectangle and we will press it and then you will see option. Just press it and then move it. You will see the rectangle here. You can add a node if you wish to. Here I have put a node and posted it there. Similar way you can make a oval. I have made an oval here and then I can make a polygon and I have made a polygon here. In similar way I can make a cloud and I have closed the cloud. The last one is the connected lines and you can either bring it here but you cannot make it in the closed space so what you can do finish it off and then right click and complete and then it will complete so here the difference is this all one two three four are enclosed and this is not an enclosed option so now we are going to talk about how to change the properties of this uh, different shapes so I'm going to start with the rectangle right click and properties and you will see another dialog box has appeared here and you will see the option to change the style and you can change the line style you can change the thickness you can change the color you can also change the fill color because there is an enclosed space and wherever enclosed space is that you can put the fill color so here I'm going to put a color like this you can also change the opacity level which you can either put in the number or you can using the slider you can change the opacity level so here we have make a little team, you can make it further team and then press OK. You can also change the rectangle type, it's very useful feature to make it cloud sometimes. It looks much nicer to make a cloud, it's a proper shape. So here you can see a cloud option and when you press it OK, it is done. Similar way. In similar way, you can do same thing with the oval. line type, thickness, fill color, color and the fill color and then you can change the opacity level, click OK. In similar way you can do all features are there for the polygons and the cloud as well. So now we are going to talk about the connector lines and the only difference is the connected lines is a line, it is not an enclosed space. So probably you will not see the fill option, but if you have an ending with an enclosed space, you can have the fill option. So let me demonstrate you with the example here. So you will see that the option here is start and ending. It talks about the how the ending look like, it's a line option. So you can make an open and you can see the first line where we have started with an open ending and we can make a closed here. Similar way, we can change the style, line type, dashed line, you can see the changes here, you can change the thickness and you can change the color of the line, which I have changed it like this and you will see the fill color because here is an enclosed, closed boundary, so you can the fill color here you can't so I'm going to change it something like that so here you will see the change in fill color here you can here also you can change the, the opacity level and press ok it is done here you have might have noticed that there is no option to make a circle and in order to make the circle what we can do we can use the oval shape itself and we can press shift key and you can see we are forming a very nice circle here. So in order to make the circle, try to use the oval shape feature and press the shift key on the key and then you will make a circle. 
If you want to move it, these all shapes, what you can do, you can go to the top, you will see a cross shine and just you can move around similar way you can move. If you also want to change the, the size of these shapes, what you can do, you can go to the corner, you will see a up and down, just drag it there, it will change. So with this we have came to an end of the tutorial and hope it has given you an idea about how to make these shapes using the drawing tools in Adobe Acrobat 2DC.